Yeah, you know, we, we hadn't flown all year, I don't think, uh, to be honest. And so the uh, good thing is we're going on a charter flight, so it makes it a lot easier because it ain't easy traveling out of Murray, Kentucky. And so probably the t if you could match two teams up, UTEP and Murray, it's probably the two toughest places to get to and from because, you know, El Paso does have an airport, you know, makes it a little bit easier. But, you know, you think about if you had to go from here to there, there to there, here, you got a lot of flights and a lot of uh, – layovers and so taking a charter flight out of Paducah is uh, a lot easier and you know we're fortunate we can do that and that's the good thing about being in these uh, tournaments like the NIT and the NCAA. Can you talk about how they do take care of you that sense and why it makes it maybe a little bit more special than what the CIT was not saying that they weren't special. Yeah I, I don't know I, you know I think the CIT in, in certain situations may have done it too I think they may have done it for VMI at some point late as we got down to the nitty-gritty of the tournament and so you know um, some take commercial flights, so it, it doesn't, you know, for us it's great just because it's easier to travel because where we're located. If we were living in Nashville, it wouldn't really matter. Uh, just talk about what you've seen from Tulsa as far as watching the video. Well, they're good. they got really good guards. Uh, their backcourt's really good. First team all-league guy, second team all-league guy, uh, first team all-league Woodard, uh, the point guard second team all-league. Uh, very good defensively to play some zone. Um, and guarded really good guards a certain way, Bolt Wright, Nick Moore, and so we got to be prepared for that as well. Uh, and Tulsa's very similar programs like UTEP, Murray, some of the elite mid-major programs. Um, you know, and Tulsa's obviously in a great league uh, to where they've got great, great history there. They've got great history there and uh, had great coaches come through there, very similar to Murray, and so we've got a lot of respect for, the, for them. Um, you know, Coach Haith, I know him a little bit. Um, he worked, Coach Kennedy worked for him for one year at Miami, and so we're going to have to do a great job, uh, especially on those two guards. Last time I checked, Belmont was up. Uh, I think they're down right now by nine. I think it was 23 20, and then it was a little 6 0 run. So hopefully they can uh, get it going. They scored 20 points in the first 10 minutes, and Virginia's known for their defense. So Belmont's going to score. They can make shots. They just got to, you know, they turned it over, and Bradshaw took a tough shot. And, kind of turned into easy offense for Virginia. They just got to hopefully limit that and, you know, just put themselves in positions, position to win late. I texted Coach Bird earlier today just wishing them good, good luck. And, you know, we, we need them to win. We're, we're really pulling for them. Other teams are having success. How great is that to see? I'm sure you watch those or at least keep up with the Well, it's good. It was good for us to be on national television, you know, ESPN2 and play really well against a, a UTEP team that finished second in the uh, Conference USA. And Conference USA's fifth place team just went and, you know, won a game in the NCAA tournament, and so that was great. And, and you know, really pulling for EKU. I think they play tonight. Um, and then Eastern Illinois hosts Evansville Monday, and Martin's going on the road uh, to South Carolina Upstate. So, you know, I've texted those guys. I talked to Spoonhauer yesterday. I texted with Schroyer uh, this morning, and so pulling for all those guys. Tulsa's American, you know, so which it's a, you know, high major conference, you know, with, you know, you got Cincinnati, Connecticut. Um, but Tulsa, you know, uh, has historically been known as, you know, that uh, one of the stepping grounds for coaches and, and, you know, NCAA tournament appearances. So they got great history there. You know, Bill Self, Nolan Richardson, Tubby Smith, uh, Buzz Peterson, uh, some really, really good coaches, Danny Manning. And so, uh, you know, Coach Haith is obviously, you know, you know, next in line. I think we're 11 and one. I think I, you know, I think and we're 11 and one. And second, especially how you keep that. I mean, what, what, what is, you know, doing? Well, you keep that by going up there and defending like crazy and rebounding and, and not getting caught up in the environment and just being focused on the next possession. And so taking good shots on the road and taking care of the ball. And so uh, Tulsa's very good. You know, they they've had some good wins. Just watched them play SMU last night, and SMU's a very good team. So, but you know, we're very confident going up there. We know it's going to be a tough, tough challenge, but it's great for our program. Great for our league, Monday night ESPN showcase game. And so we got to go try to get it done. You talked uh, the other night about realistically not having as many fans as you've had on the road. Creating your own energy, is, is that a big challenge for this team? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's there'll be 22 teams in the country playing Monday night still left in the NCAA and NIT. So I don't think we'll be trying to pull too much energy. And I know you look at things when even on time, if you win, it'll be over. Or 27 teams. It'll be over. But for the program to get to New York, just talk about that in the aspect of Well, if we could get to New York, and obviously it's just about today and it's about trying to beat Tulsa, but if we could get to New York, 
It'd be huge. It'd be huge. You know, I'm just joking here, but you know, you got people from Murray, Kentucky, walking around in in, in a Big Apple. I mean, they don't. <laughs> There's a lot of big, there's a big difference there. So staying at the Marriott Marquis downtown and eating at Tavern on the Green, you know, it's, uh, you know, I love the apple and I love that Hampton Inn over there, but but there's a difference. And so uh, I think it'd be awesome for this uh, program, for this school and for our league if we, if we could get there. And um, playing in the garden would be pretty, pretty special. For a team that felt like they deserved to be in the NCAA tournament, didn't feel like there was any pressure to make a statement the other night. Uh, we're just focused on trying to win this tournament, and you do that by winning the next game. You know, I've, I'll have the NCAA tournament games on. I'll watch them in my office or at home a little bit as, as I'm watching tape on Tulsa or hanging out with my family. But uh, we're, we're focused on our tournament, and so there's a lot of good basketball teams out there. Uh, we're one of them, uh, you know, regardless of what we did in November. You know, we're a really good team, and so, you know, we're, you know, we got one of the top 10 winning just teams this season in the country at 28 and whatever we are now, 28 and five. So um, we're just trying to we're trying to win the next game and that's it, that's our mentality. How much does it help having really good guard play playing teams that you haven't seen before and, and not knowing? Well, you gotta you're have good guard have. play. You don't have good guard play, you're in trouble. And that's why we've been good for the last several years. We've had really good guard play led by really good point guards. And so, and guys that can make shots and make good decisions and so, we got to continue to have that. You know, if you don't have good guard play, you're you're in trouble. So you better have good, you better be recruiting and, and, and getting uh, good players. You know, in here, and we've been fortunate to do that. By the time you played Monday, it's been almost a week since your last game. Is that long wait good or bad? I don't. It doesn't. You know, I wish we. You know, the guys they probably all wish they were playing. You know, it makes practice a little bit tougher right now because I don't want them in here for two and a half hours. And I mean, if they don't know it right now, we ain't go. You know. So we'll be in here an hour, hour and a half at the most. Try to get after a little bit, scrimmage a little bit, and then try to get a little bit more focus Saturday, Sunday, as we get a little bit closer, but still a little bit earlier in the week still. And your relative challenge technically tells us a little bit better than what you played before the next one will be. Uh, that's, what they, that's, what you and, that's what you and Jay Billis and all the rest of them say. 